I have to admit, Tesla's Gigafactory has ramped up at a fairly a lot slower pace than what I initially expected. However, things are starting to change. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. It is around about 4.30 a.m. and it's pretty cold here. No heater on right now because, um, you know, trying to save the world. No, just kidding. I've got nothing at all to complain about. It really doesn't get that cold here in Australia, even though, you know, everything becomes relative and you start to think, oh, it's five degrees, it's freezing. Well, it's really not that bad, is it? Now, a third shift of Tesla Giga Berlin employees will start work by the 4th of July. Currently, Tesla's Gigafactory in Berlin has two alternating shifts starting at either 6.30 a.m. or 2.30 p.m. according to a Tesla employee. Giga Berlin will introduce a night shift from the 4th of July onwards, so that's what, four or five days away? So the factory will be running 24 hours a day. The Berlin factory recently started producing 1,000 Model Y vehicles per week. Adding another shift of workers would significantly increase the factory's production in the coming months. I mean, maybe they'll get to 1,500 per week, which would be a, a nice improvement. Tesla Giga Berlin is still actively hiring. Earlier this month, Elon Musk announced that Tesla would initiate a mass layoff worldwide, culling around 3 to 3.5% 3 of the company's salaried workforce. Giga Berlin workers were not affected by Tesla's recent mass layoffs. I mean, Giga Berlin is still desperately looking for more employees. It's probably tough to get them right now considering what's going on with the automotive industry. And the other thing is, I believe Tesla's layoffs are more about getting rid of salaried workers in Fremont, California, where there's a lot of salaried workers and Tesla, I don't believe, makes a profit from that factory. I believe all Tesla's profits come from their factory in China. There's no real 100% confirmation whether or not that's true, but it does appear to be likely. Tesla's factory in Germany currently employs 5,000 employees, and the company plans to continue hiring hundreds every single month, aiming for 12,000 workers by the end of this year. So they've got to hire 7,000 workers between now and the end of the year to hit that goal. I don't know if that's realistic, but who knows? It's possible, I guess. Apparently, according to Tesla Rati, the Frankfurt Employment Agency has set up an office in Grunheide since Tesla's factory opened. The agency has been able to place more than 600 unemployed people into Giga Berlin's factory workers. It was the right decision to move to Tesla's factory premises with a special team, Joachim Freya, CEO of the Frankfurt Employment Agency, told Moz. Thanks to the short coordination paths, we have already been able to place more than 600 unemployed people with Tesla. And I'm particularly pleased that more than half of them were long-term unemployed beforehand. Now, it's common that people don't really understand this, but for every one direct job you hire in the automotive industry, the average is an additional 10 indirect people are employed through subsidiary workplaces, whether that's engineering workforces or new places that manufacture parts for the car or infotainment systems, whatever, whatever. The employment agency stated that Tesla would be providing more job opportunities in the coming weeks as well. Anyone interested in working at Giga Berlin can contact the Frankfurt ODA employment agency and send an email to, I don't know, I can't pronounce the email, so I'll put the email address in the description below. Now, Tesla Giga Berlin actually recently increased the pay it often offers new hires, so it could be a good time to apply. Apparently, people in Germany have been complaining that Tesla doesn't pay enough. Uh, I don't know if that's true, but you know how it is. If you hear one person say, therefore, it's true for everyone. Apparently, a couple of people have complained that they weren't getting paid enough. But maybe if that were the case, they shouldn't have taken the job in the first place. That would be my recommendation. It is a free market. That's the great thing. They haven't been there for that long, seeing as the factory really has only been open since the start of this year. Giga Berlin has already started delivering Model Y performance vehicles. However, some of them were delayed because of issues with drive units. Tesla brought those cars back pretty quick. I don't think I even got to customers to fix those drive motors. Hopefully what this means is that Tesla will get to 1,500 deliveries per week or produced units per week anyway by the end of next month, 
meaning that a lot more people in Europe can get delivery, can take delivery of their Tesla Model Ys, and hopefully they can free up the Chinese factory to bring more Tesla Model Ys here to Australia, to New Zealand, to all these countries that are not getting enough of them and having to wait forever. That's what I'm hoping. We'll see what happens. The other thing to remember is, right, Tesla's factory in Shanghai is going to ramp up production from 15,000 where they're at right now per week to around 22,500 per week by the 7th of August. So that means we're adding quite a lot of global production from those two factories. Austin, Texas, well, we don't know exactly what's going on there. We'll find out soon enough. But we do know that Tesla is now producing the Model Y long range at that factory, whether that's got 4680 cells or 2170s. No one knows, but we think it's 2170s. Now, I made a video about what's going on at Tesla's Gigafactory in Texas. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. And as always, have a fantastic day. And remember, we're living in the most amazing time in human history. Things are changing in positive ways every single day. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.